Christine Niles. Today's Tuesday, September 26, 2017. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Vatican is denying it blocked access to the filial correction. Released Sunday, the document was signed by 62 mostly lay scholars and leaders and calls on the Pope to provide clarity on Amoris Laetitia, the Pope's exhortation on marriage and the family. Yesterday, Italian media reported that the Vatican had blocked access to the filial correction on its computers, but a spokesman afterward explained that this was the result of a security filter and not deliberate on the part of the Vatican. The number of signatories has now risen to 68, with one retired bishop, René Henry Gracida, signing on Monday. The former Vatican Auditor General is claiming he was forced out for investigating financial misdeeds. Speaking with reporters over the weekend, Libero Milone, who quietly resigned in June, broke his silence, claiming he was forced to step down after discovering financial irregularities and that charges against him of inappropriate use of funds were fake and fabricated. Milone also claims what other individuals in the Vatican have asserted, that his computers and phones were bugged. The Vatican is rejecting his claims as false and unjustified. Researchers have restored consciousness to a man in a vegetative state, using mild electrical impulses at regular intervals to stimulate the largest nerve in the brain, researchers in France found after a month of stimulation that the man began to respond to simple commands. He was able to stay awake while being read to and even showed signs of surprise. Brain imaging and other tests confirmed an increase in brain activity, something previously considered impossible. In a press release yesterday, researchers said brain repair can take place even when hope seems to have vanished. Another Canadian province is introducing free, taxpayer-funded abortion. The government of Nova Scotia announced Friday that starting in November, women will be able to get abortion-inducing drugs from their local pharmacy at no cost. The move comes after months of lobbying by abortion activists. Nova Scotia joins Alberta, New Brunswick, Ontario, and Quebec in providing free abortions through taxpayer-funded health care programs. Each year, approximately 100,000 Canadian babies are killed through abortion. A recent op-ed is claiming women in the Netherlands have a moral duty to abort babies with Down syndrome. Branding Down syndrome babies a financial burden to the state, the piece published in the Dutch press demanded that parents be fined if they refuse to kill their unborn children with the condition. It's the latest in a string of news articles promoting eugenic abortion as the solution to Down syndrome. In response, one Dutch doctor warned that the Netherlands is beginning to resemble Nazi Germany in its disregard for human life. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about media, mitres, and Martin. And check out the download, where the panel discusses peasant Catholics. God bless you.